The example spreadsheet has product name, manufacturing cost, profit, and total price, including tax columns. The tax rate is above, which is 8%, hence the multiplication factor will be 1.08. Now to calculate the total price for product one, a formula can be created. Select cell D5, click on formula bar and enter equal to sign B5 plus C5 within parenthesis star B2. Which is adding manufacturing cost and profit and multiplying the total by tax rate. You can see Excel calculated the price using the formula. Now to calculate the prices for rest of the products, autofill feature of Excel can be used. Select the cell D5, move the cursor to right corner of cell until it turns to plus sign, which is known as autofill handle. Now double click the mouse. You can see the values calculated are not correct. If you select cell D6, you can see Excel is trying to use tax rate from cell B3 because Excel when copying the formula uses relative referencing. For D6, it added B6 and C6 which is correct for the manufacturing and uh, uh, profit but the tax rate it moved down one cell and tried to take it from B3 which is not correct. This can be solved in two ways add another column for tax rate and then use that cell for multiplication then prices will be calculated correctly. But tax rate is constant and there is no point in typing same value for each product in a separate column. The other way to solve the problem is to change the formula to use tax rate always from cell B2. Click on undo to back out the autofill data. Click on formula bar for B2 add a dollar sign before B and before 2. This indicates to Excel an absolute reference to cell B2. You can see the Excel calculated the total price same as before. Now try to autofill the prices of other products. Select the cell D5. Move cursor to right corner until the cursor changes to plus sign. Double click the mouse you can see the prices are calculated correctly. You can see the formula copied for all the cells in total price column has B2 for tax rate now. 